Hi guys, uh, welcome to this uh, topic about uh, demonstrating the CRC. There's no installation here. This is just the, the tips. Um, there's lots of people already created the, the installation of CRC on YouTube and one of them is the, the Red Hat guy and his name is Thanos and uh, I asked him and of course I don't know if they will reply. He's probably been snapped by Iron Man so uh, I don't know if he will reply. So. I, because I want to know the 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 default root password or or core password of the of the the CRC a version uh, container. So most of us are familiar with the mini ship, right? But I think Red Hat will not continue with the mini ship. Um, they will introduce instead the container ready. It's been I don't know two years or 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 last year. So. These are the these are the the two that I will demonstrate Windows and CentOS. Sorry, I don't have a Mac. Um, first, the CentOS CRC is uh, this is how I created the processors. I just put the uh, number of eight processors and number of fours per processors. S is 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 just one, right? Um, and then I put 20 gig. It's OpenShift will run on, on 9 gig, but the operating system is at least 4 gig, right, to run. But I found out that 16 gig, uh, allocating 16 gig is the best one to, to run the CRC, the OpenShift CRC. So that's why I put 20 gig. And on Windows, I have to multiply by 2 by 4 because you know the Windows virtual machine have limitation of 4 cores, so. I have to break it like this and then of course the virtualization engine are on in Intel this this are three uh, but I'm using AMD right and I ran a little bit since it's Windows I have 20 I have 64 gig anyway I put 22 gig so let's introduce first the the, the one that is advantage right now is 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 the Windows and also when I restore this one is a, a little bit pretty fast because uh, let me explain. I have a, I have a RAID 10, and I'm using just the, the Windows uh, software RAID rather than the, the fake hardware RAID of the BIOS of ASUS. That that that's slower. It it will make it slower. So, but using the the Windows. So when I test with with a, uh, I have auto. I don't. I, I cannot ex demonstrate it right now. But it's uh, it's one gigabyte per seconds. Well, it makes sense, right? Because each each uh is is four disk, right? Uh, so one is just 500 million bytes per second speed. So and it's using RAID one, right? So it's that's why it's the average is one one gigabyte per second and and just uh, RAID zero on the other one. So let's go to resume this now. Sorry, guys, I have a uh, yes allergy season here. I have allergy, so I just post it I, and 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 post it and run it back, right? So if you take a look at here, if uh, I can run just back the OC status, I can see it, right? And if I run the CRC console, and it's just run, right? So I'm using 4.6 because that's the one I'm using with. With the company that I'm working with, I, I, it needs to be compatible with that. Yeah, my company is a little bit uh, point, uh, 0.17, but um, I tried to uh, up, update this one. Um, uh, I waited two hours, but uh, I think it's, it's not doing do the, the update, so I would not update. So again, um, this is just a tip. So I just put the CRC here, right? And also the full TXT. Um, to get a particular version of CRC, is you always go to the GitHub, right? Container ready, open ship, right? So this one, when you go to the GitHub, go to the releases, and from the releases you can go. Uh, that's 4.72. So this is 4.70. So I have 4.6.5. And these are the downloads available. So I download this this Windows zip, and uh, I unzip it here, right? And then you need to go to the properties, 
and advanced or oh, you can see that I'm using enterprise evaluation and it's build is 19,000 and you put the environment here the the path the path here edit and you add the CRC there and then you will be able to run the CRC um, so that's that's it right so OC uh, what can we run here um, Let's let's run it from the. I always skip on that one. Okay, default is fine, but you're not supposed to use the default, right? But for a demonstration, uh, let's do a quick one. Um, HTTPD create application run. This is the deployment config. Is the the advisable uh, deployment now in OpenShift 4 and it will run and I will post it anyway let me discuss other things mm, what else that I can just give you points um, oh yeah so the only thing that you need to do here is the so the CRC uh, setup right when when you do the CRC setup it will say okay it, it, it added the it added um, the hyper B so there's two things you need to do so when the CRC, CRC setup is done um, you can do this one while it, while doing the CRC setup after it is the hyper B is added you can go to the WMI control or, or probably re reboot first you can reboot first and then go to this one and then go to the security there's a script equivalent on this one, but it is not working right now with the uh, with the latest uh, PowerShell. So just do it graphics like this. So root interrupt and security and look for the hyper B and make sure the the important thing is that the remote enable is on here or just check it all. This is a testing anyway, right? And then after the setup and that one is you reboot it and then you go to that uh, that root interrupt and then make it sure it's 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 uh it's added you don't have you don't even have to check the the hyper being you don't have to touch this one everything is uh you, you can just see that crc is running right and you can double click it it's you will see that, that, that you will see the console but you don't need to, to run the the virtual switch uh it's just using the default switch okay um so Let's see if it's really running. Yeah, as you can see, the 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 pod is giving you the the output, right? So let's close this one. And um, uh, what else do I need to do here? Um, that's it. So just you just extract a particular CRC, right? And um, put it put it on your path, and make sure it's uh, can be located by the Windows system. And that's it. So it's advisable to run Windows so that you can just basically post it and then unpost it. You don't have to put a dedicated one, you know, if you're thinking if you're rich anyway, you can pay a dedicated one, go to put, put it in your uh, cloud basement, right? And then uh, put all those uh, particular um, proxy so that you can just uh, proxy the, the, the internal uh, because when it created this, it created an internal virtual network. So for you to be uh, available with that one, you need to to play with with proxy. You can you can search. There's a guy that that, that provided the, the the proxy setup. So let's go, let's do the CentOS CRC, uh, CRC now and uh, restore. Oh, before I forgot, uh, you need to make it 200 gig. If you put 100 gig, <laughs> that's not enough. In, in Windows um, so pr uh, prior to this one when I post this one it, it, it was running so if I do s OC status it's it, sh it should just uh, give me the status of the cluster right okay I'm, I'm posting it because it's ta taking a while so it just it just say it's a timeout so meaning the OpenShift cluster it breaks 
So the only thing that you can do it when it breaks, you have to do the delete. The, the, the setup will run past, past anyway because it's already been set up. And you do the, the, the stop, the delete, and then run it again. Okay, this is supposed to, this is the same command as as in in Windows, right? I forgot to reiterate the the, the namespace. You need to put the namespace eight 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 eight. Otherwise, it will not be able to to re, to go out and uh, retrieve the 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 containers, especially especially with a with a if you have a private one. But but the pub the public one will also not work. You have to put minus and that 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 is the namespace, right? So, and when you do this, when you when you delete up and clean up, and then it will, when it start, it around 30 minutes. Especially uh, I'm 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 running uh, 4.6. There are certificates are are expired, so I it it needs to renew. It's eight. It will say eight minutes, and then another eight minutes, or so 16 minutes, and then another. It will tell another delay of three minutes, and all other delays is around 30 30 minutes. So you don't have you have you have to wait for that if you are if you will be using CentOS. Um, the only thing that I did in CentOS here is that uh, um, I updated, right? That's it. But I I uh, was thinking to, to run this uh, as an RDP so that you know it's uh, convenient. I don't have to log into my desktop. Right and uh, just just do the the RDP the, the RDP working but as I said when you do the post and unpost on on uh, window workstation um, it breaks so I have to install the EPL release so that I can install the the, the the RTP but but that's supposed to be that's it um, another thing that that uh, you you have to I need to reiterate here is that. Um, when it's, it's using by default the KBM, it will install the KBM. But um, although there's KBM, it will not show. It's supposed to show you the the running uh, the running KBM, but it doesn't show. But but for sure it's run. Okay, so let's let's do the CRC stop now. Okay, I'm, I'm pausing it guys so that uh, you don't have to wait. <laughs> no, this is not an actual one. Okay, so CRC stop, CRC delete. Yes. CRC cleanup. Okay, and then uh, let's just copy this. Okay, it's running. So C dollar dollar C R C O C E N B. O C C R dollar C R C console. this run okay there's error hold on let me fix this one so I forget to run the CRC setup and then run run the run it again start CPU 6 uh, DNS 888 okay so starting now so that's the delay. This delay didn't tell how many minutes you will be delayed, but okay, that's good. It runs. Uh, checking the valid validity of the certificates. Of course, th this one will renew. Yeah, it's 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 say eight. It's say eight minutes, and then there will be another eight minutes, right? So it's actually in total, it's 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 around thirty minutes. So. It's up to you if you want really uh, a big fan of uh, CentOS or, or Linux, so use CentOS. Otherwise, you want convenience, yeah, just use the Windows. That's funny, right?
okay guys still running so there's another eight minutes right you can see the first one eight minutes and then the second one eight minutes so it's still delay another 16 minutes okay so it's continuing after that uh, another eight minutes updating cluster id and then another three minutes delay okay that uh, three minute delay is now continuing but still updating the config now let's say i we can run it so let's do this So CRC console. So it's running, right? I don't need to show you that it's running. Um, not let's log in. Cube admin, and I put the password here. And there are. Let's see if it's going to. You're not supposed to use the default, but this is just a demo uh, from catalog. Fastest to create is HTTPD and create the application. Try a sample. Uh, container config, you know what? Container config is slow, I know. That's the recommended anyway. And with this, I will not post. I will let you see how uh, what is the time to build this HTTPD. Mm, let's see the history of the monit system monitor. It's container ready. The build is done. And it's running. Wait a little bit. One, two, three. And then click it. It's running. Right? So it's up to you guys. If you want to run Windows CRC or CentOS CRC, you have to wait all the time every um, 30 minutes to be able to run the CentOS. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I know some of so, some of you are, is uh, waiting for my for my Hadoop four. Hadoop four will be the the final one. Um, but I'm I'm busy right now, so maybe after two weeks I will do it. Okay. Thank you guys.